I fell asleep before finishing filming this, <laughs> so I look a little, I look like I might have fallen asleep before finishing filming this. My battery died and then I had to take a break. So if you're new here, my name is Tina and I love Valentine's Day, so I wanted to upload this Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I love it. I love the holiday. I love pink and red. I love lilac, lavender, and red. I'm a huge fan of Valentine's Day. I always have been, whether I was with someone or alone, it's just my favorite holiday. And I wanted to do this makeup tutorial. So the makeup tutorial is designed for any skin tone, any eye color, any age, and any lip color, and also any outfit you wanna wear. I chose to do this velvet, red, Bridgerton, corsety type of top. You can't really see it, let me stand up a little bit. It's like a Bridgerton type of top. I have sweatpants on because <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. But I love the top. I found it on Fashion Nova and I just thought it would be cute to film this. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys this makeup look and I thought it would be pretty with any type of outfit. It's mostly how to do the eye makeup and how to do the skin like this. So if you want to know how to do your makeup like this for Valentine's Day or any date or any time, then please keep watching. Hi guys, so I obviously did my brows already and to prime my lids I'm going to use the Dose of Colors Concealer. If you haven't tried this concealer yet, one of the very best, but it's also a great eyeshadow primer. It doesn't make the eyeshadow eyeshadows funky at all. It's just a great base all together and you can use, a, use it as a foundation. Using my favorite palette, the Soft Glam Palette from ABH. I'm going to go over the whole lid with orange soda, even though ABH took me off of their PR list. <laughs> you know I have to say it every time. Going over the whole lid with orange soda. I love this palette because the shades to me are just so versatile for soft glam and that's kind of all I've been doing. So to build some definition in the crease, taking burnt orange into the outer crease with a smaller blending brush. and it could be a little bit messy because it's so diffused. Obviously I repeat it on the other side and then take your original blending brush that has orange soda still on it and then you go back in and kind of diffuse the blending a little bit more. Using a pencil brush and cypress umber, it's like a neutral dark brown, I start defining the outer, the outer liner I guess you're kind of creating an eyeliner with shadow. It looks messy, but you take your blending brush and go back in over it and again diffuse the color out because it is smoky, but it is kind of more on the soft glam side. All the smokiness is going to be on the waterline. So this part could be very blended, a lot softer, and then we go in with liquid eye eyeliner anyway. So you have to trust the process. <laughs> Just lay the color down and then go back in and blend out the edges. This is why I do eyes first because I'm kind of like a messy eyeshadow person and it's just easier if you do the eyes first and then clean it up in my opinion. And then for the front, it looks crazy at first, but <laughs> the inner corners, we're using tempera or a lighter shade. You could do this with any neutral palette with the lighter shade and it looks dusty and chalky at first but I promise it blends really nice just pack it on the inner corner and bring it upwards a little bit and this will open up the eyes and give it that soft glam look even though it's a smoky you take your original blending brush and then you blend out the edges of that as well and that will take away from the chalkiness and kind of make it look way more diffused and then I think I love this <laughs> I think it looks so good so taking a tiny bit of rose pink give it a little Valentine's Day coloring rose pink but pat it really 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 lightly on the lid just to give it a little flavor but nothing too dramatic because it's still something wearable pink on the eyelids is not my favorite so I only wanted to do a little bit and then of course you tight line the eyes um, by adding black liner on the tight line and then some liquid eyeliner I'm using my favorite the Sephora collection liquid eyeliner and build in your wing. This is high maintenance, but I take a marker eyeliner to do the inner corners. This one's Urban Decay. It is so precise, so I do my inner corners with that one. Cleaning up the eyeshadow. This is why I do eyes first, because I feel like you can clean it up and make it look so much better. Like, you look so professional. Even though the shadow was so messy, you look super professional when you clean it up. So taking the pencil liner and a pencil brush I'm diffusing the black on the lower lash line I wasn't gonna do black in the waterline 
I ended up doing it anyways. So you take a pencil brush and with the same brown shades that you used on the top, you diffuse the lower lash line. And you can clean that up again too because that could get messy. For the face, I'm using Huda Beauty Foundations. If you follow me, you know I love her foundations. I just posted a tutorial on the new reformulated matte radiance about matte radiant <laughs> the matte faux filter foundation but first i'm going to go in with the medium coverage one so the stick is medium coverage i don't like wearing too full coverage on my skin so i'm blending it in with a smaller brush because i feel like it diffuses it nicely just to even out my skin tone and then anywhere i have blemishes i'm taking one pump of the full coverage full full coverage foundation with a concealer brush not even using the full full pump just going anywhere that I have some imperfections. So if you didn't want to have like too much of a cakey face, too much full coverage, you can go in and spot conceal with a full coverage foundation and then diffuse it out with a damp beauty sponge. My beauty sponges are for shop, from Shop Miss, a. Shop Miss A, they're not Beauty Blender. So I go back in and diffuse it with a damp beauty sponge. For a cream contour, I love using a cream bronzer. This one's from Fenty Beauty. It is so good. It's one of my favorites. It's worth every penny. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth every penny. I'm using the shade Honey Glaze, and I diffuse it in lightly, nice and light, so that way it doesn't look too harsh. And for concealer, I just reviewed this for TikTok. It is amazing. It's the Rare Beauty Concealer. I didn't think I would love it, but I love it. It is so good. It's nice and thin. And the shades they created are so complimenting. I have tons of concealers in my shade, but there's something about this one that also gives a brightening effect without it being too bright. So it's very golden. It's perfect for my skin tone. Beautiful coverage. Sets into the skin. So, like, I can't say enough good things about it. It is just so nice. So I highly recommend if you were curious, I recommend picking it up. It's not like a thick, heavy concealer whatsoever it is very lightweight but i feel like it covers perfectly like <laughs> my under eyes look so good and i have a lot of wrinkles on my under eyes so i have to be careful with concealers some concealers fall apart on me but this one is just amazing to set the concealer i'm going in with the il maquillage powder foundation and kind of covering my damp beauty sponge completely and just lightly patting it over and I think it comes out so well. It worked so well with the Rare, Be Rare, Beauty, <laughs> Rare Beauty Concealer and then I just set wherever I put that concealer down. To brighten up the under eyes, this is my process. You don't have to do it this way but I like to brighten up right where the teardrops are with the yellow shade in the Dragon Beauty Transformation Powder. This is my favorite powder. Like I can't do my makeup without it and just keep it right on the inner corner and brighten up that area of the face. Wherever I put cream bronzer, I'm stumbling on my words, wherever I put cream bronzer, I go back in with Milani Baked Bronzer. I love baked bronzers. Oh my gosh. I think they're so good. And Milani is one of the best. For a blush, I'm using NARS Orgasm. I'm late to this cult of NARS Orgasm blush, but I found it and I love it. I don't wear highlight. But there's some shimmer in this blush. It is so complimenting. It's like you could put on a bunch and it still looks so pretty. So it's it's worth what everyone says. Now to diffuse out the whole face, I only started doing this recently. If you have oily skin, you're going to love this step. So this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Setting Powder. I don't use it to set my under eyes. I use it to kind of dust over the whole face. It is beautiful. So if you have oily skin, if you're worried about oils and you like a more matte look, you have to try this loose powder and this shade translucent honey. It looks so pretty. So this is my setting powder trip. Spray your whole face. Don't move. Don't scrunch your face. Don't laugh. Don't talk. And right away, go in with a handheld fan. I put a link in my description with all the other products. I also included my Amazon store where you can get a little handheld fan and I'm telling you it improves your makeup so much it's worth it before I always spray before I do my eye makeup so try not to get your setting spray on your eye makeup then go in and do your um, mascaras and liners and lashes so curled my lashes now I'm using the Morphe mascara <clears throat> sorry my allergies are bad today I haven't heard a lot about the Morphe mascara but let me tell you 
it's good okay I love it I've been using it like crazy it doesn't make my eyes itchy it is such a lovely mascara I'm gonna put lashes on anyway but you don't even need it with this one like this mascara is so good so if you were curious it is so good for the lower lash line I use the burgundy mascara from L'Oreal I linked it um, and then I dry my lashes too because I don't like when the mascara gets on my under eyes and I'm just showing you that you could wear this with lashes and without I'm obviously gonna go with lashes like I'm it's a lifestyle <laughs> I am a glam person I need some lashes <laughs> so you could do nude lips you could do purple lips purple is beautiful for the lips as well you can do black if you like black lips you could do red that's really uh, very Valentine you know red lips I did nude and red just to show you because I figured those are the most popular but <clears throat> in my opinion you could do any color lip like this is a perfect smoky eye for anyone and any lip so I'm just going to show you both you could do matte nude you can do glossy nude I like glossy nude I'm not into matte lips anymore pop in my nose ring it's heart shaped <laughs> so I wanted to show it to you in my cringy poses and now I'm just showing you the red lips um, I linked them all I forgot the name this is the prettiest lipstick ever it's te amo te amo from hank and henry beauty the prettiest red lipstick ever he's got the best lipstick so definitely check them out i hope you like this tutorial um give it a thumbs up share it post it let me know what you think and i'll see you guys next time bye